Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning to all my VIP people, my people. And um, hey, if you are catching me live, I want you to drop a one below. Um, if you are on the replay, let me know with the two. Um, so basically today, I'm gonna show you all of my favorites. Like I'm gonna show them off. Um, and this trial that I'm gonna offer today is the absolute bomb. Um, and if you already know you want it, because you know how awesome um, last week's or two weeks ago, oh, I don't even remember when we did this, maybe two weeks ago, if you already know that you want it, drop a strawberry in the comments below now. Um, drop a message to my inbox because I'm gonna go there first. Um, that's first dibs. Uh, so send me a Facebook message um, and get that box secured now while I'm talking. Um, so a big welcome to our new friends. We had a lot of new friends join us um, this week. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And I kinda wanna start out by telling you a bit about myself. I know I kinda do that a lot, but I like to talk about myself, don't we all? <laughs> so drop a heart if that's okay and you want to hear from me again and about me and what's happening. So, um, you know, 2020 was really filled with a lot of heartache. I think we all had our own sense of struggle, um, you know, things that were happening in our life. And so I know in my life... Um, you know, I'm one of those weird people that liked quarantine um, because my schedule was empty, right? I'm one of those weird people. But you know what it did? It brought on a lot of weight. Um, maybe not emotional weight or, or anything like that, but it brought actual physical weight to my body, okay? So with being home all day, no one was seeing me. What did it matter, right? Um, no one was noticing that I was really getting any bigger. Um, I was tired, but that's okay. We didn't have anywhere to go. Um, my clothes weren't fitting, but I mean, that's okay. I can just sit in my jammies and my yoga pants. Um, I will tell you, I got up to a size 3X. Um, and if I, you're on my virtual sale page, you're seeing now that I'm selling those 3Xs. Um, you know, I was got to be the biggest that I had been in my entire life. Um, even, you know, the college weight that you put on. Um, I put on weight after both kids. Um, I really think the scale's even bigger than when I was pregnant with Josie. And I gained a lot of weight with Josie. Um, we lived off of beef jerky and Cheetos and Mountain Dew. So, that's, well, yeah. She can go therapy for that later, right? <laughs> um, so I was living in yoga pants. I was moody. I was unhappy. I was mad at myself. Mad that I had gotten myself to this biggest size again. Um, something had to change. So if any of that resonates with you, if any of that sounds like your world and you are ready for that change and you know that something has to change, I want you to drop the word change in the comments. I want you to declare it, that we're gonna change. And so, you know, I tried working out. Um, I tried cutting down on soda. Um, I tried eating better. Um, tried to do the whole high protein, low carb um, that I had been successful for in the past, but it wasn't happening. Um, I hate measuring food. I hate counting calories. I really don't understand macros fully. Um, and I hate logging everything I eat in those apps. I, I just hate, I won't do it. I won't log it. Um, and I hated telling my family, you know, the last time when I did a different, an actual diet diet, um, I hate telling my family, oh, I can't eat there. They don't have anything that I can eat. And that is, that's, 
I don't like to disappoint my 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 people, my family, um, into where that they want to go eat and they want to be. I want to be a part of of all of that. Oh, there's Tina. Rayan, hi. Is Toya and Zayla there with you? I had to say hi. These baby girls are my sisters, my sisters' grandbabies. I don't really know what that makes them to me. And my great aunt then, I think. Anyways, um, they see me on here on Saturday mornings, but I don't say hi to them like when we video chat. So, hi girls. Okay, I digress. Um, so, I love carbs. Um, and I knew I could only sustain something that was honestly gonna be easy. Isn't that what we want? We want easy. Um, and I knew I'd only stick with it if I could fit it in with as little change to, you know, my routine, right? Um, we want things that that work with us. And if it doesn't work with us, it, it's, it's not going to fit, right? We're not going to stick with it. We're not going to continue it. it it's just, it's just going to kind of mess up our flow, right? Um, so, I really... I wanted to be able to walk again up the stairs with being able to breathe, right? Um, I wanted to go on a walk around the neighborhood with my husband and not be winded at the end um, because I, I just, I wasn't healthy, right? I wanted to like that girl that I saw in the mirror um, and I wanted that girl to be healthy again. Um, um, sorry, I'm reading the comments. <laughs> Tina, stop trying to take all my clothes. Tina's my sister and she wants all of my clothes. So, um, anyways, I digress again, Tina. <laughs> so, anyways, I grabbed a trial because I knew I was not going to get online and buy a box of it and then have it be yucky, right? And then what do I do? Like, I need to know that I'm gonna like it. I need to know that it's something that I can actually drink, that I can that I can add to, um, and that it's not unpleasant. Like, I didn't want it to taste like, um, what's the, oh my gosh, it's losing my mind. When they give you the test, the glucose test when you're pregnant, I did not want it to taste like those. Like, mm, don't tell me it's gonna taste like fruit punch or orange but I'm gonna have to stomach that because that drink is gross. This drink is not gross, like for real. <laughs> so I started drinking it. It was delicious and I fell in love immediately. Um, I felt different within that first week. Um, I have to tell you, I'm, I digress again. So <laughs> I'm getting little text messages from Josie because I told her I was going live and she wasn't up yet. So she's going, oh, no, I want breakfast. And like, oh, it's tough because she won't come down here when I'm talking. So um, anyway, <laughs> I started feeling different within like the first week of drinking them. And so I drink today ketones daily. Um, and I'm going to mix them up for you. So I put it in a clear water, and I like it with ice. Do you have to have ice? No. Does your water have to be cold? No. So you do, you do you, right? Um, and I came prepared this time. So I'm gonna show you this. This is the Mexican ketones. Um, we talked about last time the, um, the pear one. I couldn't think of what it was called. Um, this is the straw, the, the strawberry berry flavored. I don't even know if it really is strawberry. You know, it says Dolce Agrio. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know Spanish? So I brought with my trusty scissors because you're supposed to be able to pop this. I, I clearly am dysfunctional in some way and am incapable of popping the top of this off. So I'm just going to cut it. Oh, I'm gonna cut my finger while I'm at it. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, so basically 
Pop the top off. Here's the water. It is liquid. So you're just going to squeeze it and have it come right out of this little box packet thing. Bri, I'm so glad you have a hard time too. Those videos that I watch online now, I, I like to dip it in there with it squeezed and then get more water and get more out because girls, if I'm gonna pay for it, I'm gonna like lick the inside of it, right? Um, okay, so I think that's good. Let me dispose of this. Gosh, now my finger hurts from doing that. So I'm gonna mix that up just a little. And it mixes, I don't know if you can see, it mixes super well. There are no like, there's no flakes, and I'm mixing it with a straw. So seriously, like in a blender bottle with a little ball, probably would have been a little easier, but I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like so that you know it's not gritty, it's not thick, it's not yucky. Now, I'm not going to, th this, it has a tart kick to it, okay? Okay, take my breath away. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I have this strawberry peach. Strawberry peach. Um, I like to mix them together. One, who wouldn't want more strawberry in there? Two, I think that these take that tartness away from me. Um, and so in my brain, because the Mexican ketones are going to put you into ketosis, like within like 10 minutes, and the nap powder, let's see if I'm as good at stirring these up. The nap powder is going to take 59 minutes, okay? So these, um, these ketones, this exact brand and formula, okay, I'm stirring because of course the powder is a little harder to, to get into liquid. So I'm gonna stir while I talk. So they can't be found anywhere else. You're gonna find other variations of ketones and stuff, but it is not the same formula. This formula has like, I think it's nine, nine patents on it. So you're not gonna find this exact one and the formula that, they, that they've created um, that I can tell you proven fact in me that it works. Um, Sorry, this will be quicker in a blender bottle, I promise. But, you know, me, I don't have a clear blender bottle and I should get one, but, <laughs> but I don't. Um, okay, so anyways, they taste amazing, they work. Um, this is one of a kind, You're, you can grab this from me. Um, and I love mixing up new combos. Um, would it be, a, up beneath me to throw in the lime minoplex as well. Um, but again, I'd be taking it back to tart, right? <laughs> okay, my laugh is terrible this morning. Please tell me to stop laughing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can still see my straw. You can see that it's not thick. I mean, it's really just like a flavored water. And like, honestly, what it looks like and, and similarities to texture wise, cause I'm a texture girl. It's like when you put like a crystal light packet in your water. You can't taste the grittiness. You can't taste these things. All right, so this combo, this strawberry peach, let me just grab the one that's not open. This strawberry peach and this uh, berry uh, Mexican ketones, they are in this I love you very much uh, pack. So if Already, just knowing these two things, you know that you want this pack. Drop a strawberry. Start commenting on me. Fill up my fill up my inbox now. Um, if you don't, if you already know, and you're like, I don't even need to see the rest. I want that. These two alone are an amazing combo. So I, you know, February is our month of of love, right? We got Valentine's Day. It's showing up everywhere. People are planning, trying to decide what they're gonna do. Um, you know, I wanna talk about it. It's easy. It's easy for us to list things that we love. People we love. Um, you know, 
My husband and I had a discussion this morning. My entire life, I have like loved Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block, in case you don't know that, that's my age. Um, like, it's so easy for me to throw something out there like that. But if he would have asked me, Robin, what do you love about yourself? Uh, the fact that I love Joey McIntyre? I, I like you. We get we get flabbergasted at that question, and we don't know what to say. So I'm gonna challenge you. I want you to drop in your comments. I want you to send me an inbox message. Something that you love about yourself, right? Yourself, not in relation to the fact that you love Joey McIntyre. And if you do. I'm gonna fight you. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> like yourself, like really. So when um, when we really look at it, we need to be reminded. We need to be reminded of loving ourselves, of what we truly are, um, this wonderful creation. And so um, Psalms 39 tells us that we're each mysteriously complex. That's the Passion Translation. We are fearfully and carefully made. It tells us and reminds us that you are loved. You are accepted, you are chosen, and you are known. Think about it. Think about your mind. Think about your body. Think about your soul. What amazes you about that, about you and your mysteriously complexity that, that is you? What do you really stand in awe of that your body functions this certain way, that your body is capable of doing these things? Um... We just need to just step back and just really look at how we were carefully created with so many talents, so many gifts, so many wondrous things. And so I really challenge you, drop it in the comments. I'm not gonna ask you for what you love about me. Um, one, I don't, I don't need I don't need that, but two, that's gonna be easy for you. I want you to look at you, right? Not easy for you, like I'm so easy to love, right? <laughs> but drop drop me a message. If you're struggling, maybe you're struggling. That's okay. Be honest. Tell me about it. Um, because I care about you and I appreciate you and the creation that you are. And so I want to remind you that you're worthy of loving yourself. You deserve that moment to just pause, to just rest, to sit in you. Um, your health is important. Your emotional health is so vital. And your spiritual health is so essential. And when these things are healthy in us, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And so loving ourselves, you know, we each really struggle with this. Heck, letting others love us is hard. Honestly, that's why that's why I don't I don't want you to say things about me because it's really hard for me to take that. It's really hard for me to accept it and be like, "Okay, I see that. I see what you see." Isn't that, that's hard when people see something wonderful in us and they drop this compliment. Are you an awful compliment taker? I'm an awful compliment taker. So, you know, the other impossible thing sometimes we find ourselves in when we're talking about our spiritual health being so essential is that we don't know how to accept that kind of love that unconditional love, that grace, that mercy, that's just gifted to us. Like, that, that floors us because that's not how we operate, right? We are so hard on ourselves. We are so hard on other people. But I'm gonna say it again. You are loved. You are accepted. You are chosen 
and you are known and you lack nothing through Christ, nothing. And so I really want you to just think about that today. Think about that this weekend as you go about your, go about your schedule and you know, your day to days, like think about what you could comment. And if it takes you a little while to comment to this or send me a message, that's okay. Um, I want you to be able to accept somebody's compliment of you and, um, and just rest in that, accept what God's saying about you and rest in that. So who wants to see the rest of this pack? All right. So, so many messages. I love you all. You are so amazing. Um, so, I only have five this time. Okay? Here's my color bags again. So, I would move fast on this because last time I did this with six, they went quick. They did not make it to Monday morning for me to drop on my personal page. They disappeared fast. And I really feel that if I have any uh, Barry fans out there as well, these are going to, um, to disappear even quicker. Because if you love strawberry, raspberry, uh, all the berries, then you are gonna love this pack. Because as I've said before, I'm a berry girl. Uh, I love berries. Okay, so let me move this before I spill it. So see, it still looks like this and it doesn't settle in the bottom. It's all right there. See, there's nothing. Well, there's a sticker. And it's not as tart with the strawberry peach mixed in with that Mexican ketones. Um, and this stuff is like bam, bam ketosis. Okay, so we've got the strawberry peach, we've got the Mexican dulce agrio, I don't know. Okay, my other absolute favorite is this one right here. This is heart tart. Heart tart was my first love and heart tart is amazing. So it's very strawberry. Um, and I love it. If it's too, you know, I, you know, I, let me just say these now, because some people have told me, oh my gosh, I don't like hard tart. Well, okay, I mix it with 10 ounces of water, so it's really sweet. Add more water, and then it will just be a subtle, you know, sweet flavor um, of strawberry, which then they seem to love it. So, play with it. These are for you to play with. Like, just because I like 10 ounces of water doesn't mean you're not gonna like them better with 12, 14, 16, 20, 24. I probably wouldn't go past 24. You need to be able to consume it and drink it probably within an hour or so. Um, okay, so strawberry heart tart is my absolute favorite. Now, my close second is raspberry lemonade. <sighs> like, it's amazing, and um, it really gives heart tar to run for its money in my heart. Um, so I dare to say that maybe these two are my absolute favorite. Um, and then I have palm berry. Palm berry is in the winter series. Basically, when you when it says this, this means that it's not always available. These these our mainstay items, these are always there, at least right now they are. Um, they're the regulars, they're the constants. So um, these are available to you to purchase. This one pops up and appears every once in a while. This came out around Christmas in December and then they brought it back uh, a couple weeks ago and I was like, <gasps> Okay, I really can breathe. Okay, so <laughs> it's, 
It's amazing as well. I was so sad because I was down to my last packet or so, and I thought, oh, I need more. So I ordered more, and I'm gonna share them with you. So I figured I can at least part with five of them for you all, right? It makes me sad, but I'm willing to do it for you. Okay, so, so we've got the strawberry peach, the Mexican uh, strawberry ketones, the heart tart, the raspberry lemonade, the palm berry, and then the unicorn slam keto up, okay? This is similar to the Mexican ketones to where it's an immediate ketosis to your body. Um, it also is um, uh, carbonated. Couldn't think of my word. Carbonated. So you're going to have the little, you know, the, my kids say the little bubblies in their throat. You're going to have that. So if you're giving up soda and you miss that feeling that soda gives your mouth and your throat, um, this is for you. And this is amazing. I love the Unicorn Slam. Um, think bubblegum. Think uh, like strawberry starburst. Um, those kind of flavors. I think when it first gets open, it smells like a uh, double bubble. That's, that's what I think of first. Okay, so also in the packet, I'm gonna throw in two mitoplexes. What's mitoplex, you ask? It is not the same as these gnats, okay? So basically, you're gonna wanna add this to that, okay? Maybe not this combination. Anyways, it could work. So this is the original flavor and this is lime. Um, you can also just mix these straight with water if you wanted to. You can put it in, you know, other stuff. Or you can mix it direct with your nap packet. Um, basically, they are enhanced electrolytes. So when, you, when your body goes into ketosis or, um, you know, you start eating keto or any of that, these packets are going to help hydrate and get those electrolytes back in your body. And they're essential to your body. So, if, so this month we're really focused on hydration. Most of my posts to um, Better Together are gonna be focused on whether your body is hydrated. Yesterday, I asked you to check the color of your urine. There's a reason for that. Those are your indicators. If it's dark, if it's a dark yellow, if it's not clear, you're probably dehydrated. It could mean that you're missing some electrolytes. Um, so we're gonna focus here. Um, again, I'm still drinking my gallon jug. Um, Christina was our big winner um, of that jug last month. And so these are gonna help as well. So I will remind you, I put it in my last live. Um, during the month of February, every box that's ordered online, I'm going to put you in a drawing to win a free box of the citrus mitoplex. So every box, not every order. So if you order two boxes in your order, you're going to get two entries into the giveaway. Okay. And, um, if you don't live local, I'm going to get this shipped to you, my charge, like, it is absolutely 100% free to you. All right, so add, add a Mitoplex to your next order because you're gonna want the one you bought and you're gonna want the one you could win. Like, it's amazing. Um, I say that these gnats have been a game changer for me and honestly, the Mitoplex have, been, have created an even more change to the game and it's been amazing. All right, so like last time, one of my colors, one of my bags, get them spread out here, one of my bag colors are going to have extra product inside. My dog is attacking the blinds at the door. She always makes a fuss when I go live, doesn't she? Um, so one of them, so when you drop a strawberry, when you message me, when you decide that you want to claim um, a trial pack, then you're going to claim your color. So for those of you that have messaged me so far, claim your color. Um, 
tell me which color you want. One of these colors will have extra things in it and I'm gonna show you what those are. So, this one is Splash. Now it's white because it's caffeine free. I guess I had a white one and the hard tart was caffeine free too. So, it's caffeine free. I like to save these for my PM one um, so that so that I'm you know, not revved up at bedtime or anything like that. So this is the Splash, and this is a mainstay. This is more of like a watermelony flavor. Um, this will be in the winning bag. Then I have the Melon Blast. The Melon Blast is, um, is also caffeine-free, and it is not a mainstay item. So it just pops up um, in random sales at different months. You, you have to keep an eye on this to be able to catch Melon Blast. I also have another Mexican Ketones. So this one is the Pear, Pear Dolce that I offered in the last bag. So if you got the last bag and you loved it, you may have an opportunity to win this again. Um, and this one is super awesome, and I like to pair it with Cider Sippin'. You will notice this is our also our winter series, so this is not a mainstay item, and it only appears during, I guess, the winter months. I don't know, this is my first time seeing it, um, and I think it was a new flavor and coming out. So, it is limited edition, and I have these, and I would recommend pairing these together because they're an amazing combo. Okay, so those four items will be in the winning bag and only one color will contain those. So, um, I wanna get these to your door this weekend. Don't delay, they're going fast. And friends, I wanna remind you that I love you very much. <laughs> to be punny. Okay, so really, please take a moment to reflect on the feelings that you have towards yourself. Um, and if you really can't think of anything to love about yourself, um, because I know that struggle is totally real, I want you to ask someone in your life. Um, ask your spouse. Ask your kids. Ask your best friend. Ask them um, what they see in you that they love. And then when they say it, because you've been vulnerable enough to ask it, I want you to accept it. I want you to take it in. It may not feel like it fits, and that's okay. But they're seeing it in you, and they're seeing it as a wonderful thing for them to love. And that's amazing. Like. You're worthy of whatever compliment they've placed on you. You really are. And so I hope that each of you have a lovely weekend. I love each of you so very much. I had to say it again. Okay, so send me a message, drop your strawberries, drop all your comments down below because I want to hear from you and I want to know where you are along this journey, and I'm so glad that you are in this um, VIP group with me and that you can come alongside me in my journey um, through this because I need all of you. I need your accountability. I need you to be there um, to talk to me and just have my story come alive in you really helps motivate and fuel me to continue this, honestly. Um, so, I hope that you have a lovely weekend. Okay, mm bye.